Hello and welcome to Fallout Entomology Part 1 where we are um, sticking with the Mojave area and we are going to learn about the Cazadors. So the image here is a photograph of a tarantula hawk wasp which is a Pepsinase species. They are native to the southwest United States and you um, can see they've got quite a distinctive look with the kind of blue green dark bodies and um, with iridescence and these bright bright orange wings so um these are quite distinctive when when you see them um they are i say they're found across the kind of southwest of the united states um and they are native they eat tarantulas hence the name the tarantula hawk wasp so um you know they're they're <laughs> Um, you know the the kind of thing that spiders, large spiders fear. Um, but they are particularly known for their painful stings. So, um, if you look at this, this is the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. So it was an entomologist who um, studied the stings of various insects um, and he ranked the tarantula hawk species at a level four which is the highest level so that's the most painful and um, so they claim that title alongside the likes of the bullet ant which is called that because it feels like you've been shot if you get stung by uh, a bullet ant um, and Schmidt also did put some very interesting descriptions of the the pain of these uh, stings so he did add the tarantula hawk wasp the pepsis grossa to level four describing the pain as blinding fierce and shockingly electric although um the pain was quite short-lived compared to some other ones and didn't persist for more than kind of five minutes or, or so um so quite quite nasty in the real world um and the stings, and they do have a venom, although apparently the composition of the venom isn't um, isn't known. Nobody's kind of studied it or found out what, what it contains. Whereas we do know the bullet ant's venom is a, um, a neurotoxic peptide, so affecting the, the kind of nervous system. Um, so that's the tarantula hawk wasp. Um, and we'll head into the Mojave Wasteland to meet the Cazadors, um, which is Fallout New Vegas' version of, of these guys. They are bigger, they are faster, and they're more aggressive, um, and their poison and um, their venom seems to be much more um, harmful compared to the tarantula hawk wasp in the real world. So um, we'll meet a couple of unique ones we'll find some of their nesting spots across the Mojave and then we will pay a visit to Big Mountain where the Cazdors were created the Cazdors didn't appear out of nowhere or evolve naturally they were created at Big Mountain and um, so we will be going to the the lab where they were created to meet them um, I haven't I haven't covered going to Zion Canyon um, for Honest Hearts but um, there are giant ones um, you can find occasionally in Zion Canyon, so um, definitely be aware of them um, and keep some anti-venom handy if you do go adventuring into these places because you never know when you're going to stumble across one of these things. Um, so let's head off to the Mojave Wasteland and see what we can find. So welcome to the Mojave Wasteland. We are here at the El Dorado gas station and we are heading off to find um, some of the Casdor nests. So um, there is one that's known sort of south of Boulder City and near to the El Dorado gas station, um, Camp Floor and Hope. So quite a few locations around here. Um, but there is a known Casdor nest in the area. So Casdor is a Spanish word for hunter um, and the, this is a name that has been given to these giant aggressive wasps. Um, there is also some ants around here so lots of really large bugs in this particular area of the Mojave which is fun. Um, but the Casdors are um, 
much more aggressive than their real world counterparts. Their sting is nasty, um, causing a lot of poison damage and that can stack and really, really wear you down very, very quickly. Um, as with the majority of insects, you tend not to find a single casdor on its own. More often than not, you'll find them in groups um, of up to potentially kind of six or seven sometimes. Um, so these these ones aren't so bad. They're they're the young guys. Um, they're a bit smaller, um, but they can still pack a punch. And I say they can overwhelm you if you're not careful around them. Um, but you can see the appearance compared to the photo I showed you at the beginning of this video of the tarantula hawk wasp um, they do look very similar they've got that kind of blue colour and these brilliant orange wings um, so they're quite distinctive it doesn't really help them camouflage so generally you will spot them um, in the distance when you're wandering the Mojave um, which is handy because it maybe gives you a chance to prepare for um, tangling with them um, the best strategy I've, fi I've found is to, to try and cripple the wings um, if you do that you ground them um, and they're not as fast and they can't come after you quite as quickly um, but they are like the tarantula hawk wasps but much much bigger um, you do find them located in a number of places but particularly they do block one of the possible paths up to New Vegas from Good Springs if you don't decide you don't want to follow the, the plot line down through Prim and along through Nipton and Novak and things and you want to rush like speedrunners will, will kind of find a way to rush straight up to, to Vegas from Good Springs um, but there's two nasty things in the way Death Claws being one of them at Quarry Junction and Casdor being the other um, they are found in quite large groups up in the mountains um, you do find them round about near Red Rock Canyon um, as well but yeah they can be quite um quite scary if you see a large group of them um on your way to various places in in the Mojave. Um the they're not um, they're not attacking me in this um video. I've turned combat AI off so that um you know we can get a good look at them without <laughs> you know without um dying basically um, but you can see the you can see the size of the stinger on the the end of their abdomen. Um, so they've got quite an enlarged abdomen, um, and that long stinger. Um, so that's kind of, you know, it's quite distinctive appearance. Um, and they don't blend in like most of the other kind of insect species do. They are bold and bright, and easy to spot. But they are dangerous so they don't really have to, to blend in that much um, but this here is a location of the Casdor nest um, that you can go into and you do find a, a number of them kind of hanging around in the area as well as lots of bones and things so obviously whatever they have been eating um, their flight pattern, as you can see, is quite erratic, um, and they move very quickly. Um, so you'll see them if you know, even if they're not alerted, the way they dart about in the air. Um, so they are not the easiest to hit because they they move around so quickly. So if you're trying to snipe them off from a distance, um, that's not always easy to do with manual aiming, and even with um, that's. To help it can be quite tricky um but they are really quite venomous and that venom the poison effect can stack so um it persists for for quite a long time as well and um, so you find that your health just kind of drops very very quickly um even if you're using healing items and things to to kind of counteract it so um if you're going to go somewhere where the cas doors are hanging around definitely get some anti-venom on hand um, and that can make the difference between um, survival and death um, when you're tangling with the Cazadors so um, it's something to, to keep in mind when you're exploring the Mojave Wasteland um, yeah there you might also encounter them another place that's quite common to encounter them is if you're doing the quest for the boomers and you are doing Valari and raising the bomber um, up from underneath the water in Lake Mead um, the location where you 
where the jetty is where you use the detonator to um lift the bomber um there's a kind of warehouse or boathouse nearby um and there's generally a group of cas doors hanging around in there so um that's another place that um players will commonly run into them when you're doing the quest for the boomers um so now that that's done we are gonna go off in search of um silver peak mine so around the outside we're now up um heading on the mountains up towards jacob's town um and you'll find again this is a common place for you to run across them so this is an adult cas door so it's a bit bigger the ones that we saw earlier were um young ones um but you can see you know there's a good four or five in the vicinity here and um, some young ones some bigger ones um all over the place the Silver Peak Mine, where we're heading here, is um, the location of the legendary Cazador. So if you've played New Vegas, you, you maybe know that um, there is a handful of legendary versions of enemies. So there's a legendary Cazador, there's a legendary Fire Gecko, there's a legendary Deathclaw, there's a legendary Night Stalker. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's another one and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, but these are kind of large, tougher, unique variants, um, just like there's loads of unique variants of guns. Some of the enemies do have unique variants. Um, we'll have a bit of fun with that when we get to talking about bloatflies, because there is a legendary bloatfly in Old World Blues, and it's quite something um, to deal with, so we will get to that. Um, but there is the legendary Cazador, um, which is found in Silver Peak Mine, which is... Um, along the road up towards Jacobstown, so that's where we're heading um, at the moment. Um, there are a few Legion hit squads dotted about um, because I've annoyed the, the Legion at this point in the, the game, but because I've turned the combat AI off, they just kind of run up and then kind of stand there and look at me instead of actually attacking, which is quite funny. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the road that takes you up towards the, the mountains in Jacobstown. Um, and this is an, um, the, the location that you'll find the legendary Casdor. And again, there tends to be um, a couple of them hanging around outside. You will also potentially run into the giant mantises in this area. Um, there's also sort of wild big horners that um, they're a bit more passive. They'll only really attack if you get too close to them. Um, but they can be a little bit aggressive if you get, get close to them as well. So... Um, just something to be careful of that there is a few kind of nasty or things um, hanging around in this area. We're just kind of coming up the, the hill. There's only really one road up here. Um, I say I haven't taken any footage of it, but um, I, as I mentioned, the uh, um, you do come across the giant versions of of the Casadors in the Zion Canyon so if you go into Honest Hearts um, you find that there's a lot of the, the wildlife in that area has got really giant and really really big um, and that includes Casdors so um, it's one of the few times where I think you'll encounter a single Casdor on its own but they are gigantic um, and again they can be quite aggressive they're still as fast moving and um, with this really erratic jerky kind of flight pattern that you see um, so they do make for an interesting challenge in New Vegas I say they do act as a bit of a barrier to getting certain places and, and sort of skipping the main plot and, and making your way up to New Vegas without um, following the, the path down to Prim and through Nipton and all of that the, the cas doors do kind of block the path um, that you'd other otherwise be able to use um, to, to get to Vegas a bit quicker um, but yeah so you can see um, this big horner's um, kind of it's making a lot of angry gestures and things but um, it's not attacking so they, they don't tend to bother you too much unless you get too close to them and then they do get quite annoyed um, and they can attack if you do that but we'll go in here so there's a little kind of shack 
um, which presumably somebody has been staying in. There's a star bottle cap on the table, um, bunk beds, some lockers and ammo boxes and various bits of uh, stuff lying around. Um, but then there's a door that takes you into the mine proper and I believe this is, the Silver Peak Mine is a place um, in the real world that is a mine that exists in the, the Vegas area. So um, that's quite an interesting side note really the map um and the the locations and things in terms of um including design and, and things as they've done really really well but yeah so we're going to this mine there's lots of the kind of glowing fungus to light your way which is convenient although it's not the kind that you can actually pick up um but get further in there's not really a lot in terms of like loot and stuff in this location um it's really just if you want to take on the legendary Casador for the sake of you know bragging rights, um, to say that you've done it, but um, again you'll see there's a big group of them. So you've got some large ones, you've got some small young ones, um, but you know that's a good half a dozen, um, in this first chamber. So again, it gives us an opportunity to kind of get up close and personal. And you see they've got these large, the compound eyes, um, which improve their visibility. And I say the, the fast wing beats and things, just the, the way they buzz around so erratically. Um, I'm not a fan of bugs and especially wasps and sort of flying bugs. Um, just not something that I really... Uh, like very much, I, I don't like dealing with them. Um, I had a bit of an issue with wasps um, invading my bathroom. Not a nice feeling when you're in the shower and you turn around and there's a wasp staring right at you. <laughs> um, but yeah, the um, it's quite it's quite a large kind of cave, and you can see there's like man mine carts and things. So, um, obviously it was an active mine at some point in its history, um, but now it's been invaded and it's been used as a nesting ground for the Casador. So you see that one that's just kind of jumped off um, and look at the size of it. So this is a legendary Casador. It's absolutely freaking massive. Um, but again, has very similar look to the rest of its compatriots. Um, it's just much, much bigger and you can see the size of that stinger. Um, and the wings and things so um you know even this is on very easy difficulty and that damage to with a plasma pistol is it's not a lot so um the legendary is it's got a lot more health um a lot more power to it so um not the easiest fight that's for sure and you would do that for bragging rights um but now we have just quickly travelled to Big Mountain. I skipped over all the introduction to Big Mountain because it takes an hour to get through that dialogue. It's it's insane. It's very entertaining, hilarious and well written, but it's a lot. So this here is the Z14 Pepsin A DNA splicing lab. So Pepsin A is the, the kind of species that the tarantula hawk wasp is, is the Pepsin A species or Pep pepsis a couple of different ways of saying that in the dna splicing lab so essentially this here is where the um cas doors were created um by dr boris um because biology and um, genetic engineering and things seems to be his forte um and this is where they were created so um again there's there's not a lot in terms of loot and there's not really any documentation in this place but there is um just get that one to get out of the way excuse me sir um but you know again you'll find a number of cas doors although the one good thing is that a lot of them are behind these doors um so you can kind of deal with them one at a time um but this is the where they have and if you mention it to dr boris he is quite convinced that the cas doors haven't left the crater they're all contained, so it's totally safe. He has no idea that the cas doors have escaped and are breathing and spreading across the Mojave. But if you go into this big room at the end, this is specimen 73. So this is another unique um, version of the Cazador. Um, it's maybe a little bit smaller than the legendary, but it does have more health and it is a lot faster. So um, if you aggro it, um, it, it is, is fast. 
um, this one and it is um, pretty dangerous. It seems to have more spikes on its back as well and the stinger looks a wee bit longer to me um, compared to the legendary but um, it is a lot faster and has a lot more health so um, it's one of the unique specimens and I don't think it's a coincidence that there is a tub of buff out on its cage. Um, <laughs> Almost certainly there's been some um, craziness with uh, potentially the chems and things to, to create these uh, extremely nasty insects. Um, so this is where they, they came from um, and they have spread and they're obviously breeding very successfully as well because you do find nests at various places um, across the wasteland. Um, so they have been very, very successful as a, a species which is concerning given how dangerous they are um, to people and to other wasteland creatures as well. Um, you know, they're fast, they're aggressive and they swarm. They tend to be found in large groups, um, which can very easily overwhelm you if you're not prepared. One benefit about Old World Blues, at least, is that um, when at the beginning of it, when you're they've taken your heart away you can't actually be poisoned so that does take a lot of the um sting out of it um fighting the cas doors when you can't be affected by poison so that does help um, when you're taking these guys on but i say the the number that are around and the speed of them can still make things quite challenging um to to kind of tackle and to, to fight them off um but thanks for listening um that has been part one of follow entomology we're talking about Cazadors, so um, I'll see you next time. Okay.